Welcome to 5 Minute Mics with Finlose. Today I'm sharing the SE Electronics Dynacaster DCM8 for its use with vocal recording. It's an active or passive dynamic microphone that has a dynamite mic activator built in, which allows it to have an additional 30 dB of clean gain as long as your interface can provide the necessary 48 volts of phantom power. Everything you are hearing, except for the comparisons later in the video, are recorded on the Dynacaster with the activator on and in neutral mode through the Rodecaster Pro 2 with no processing into Adobe Audition. There will be a portion of this video with the onboard EQ switches engaged, but I will explain those later. At the time of this recording, the DCM8 retails new for $289 US dollars, but can easily be found for less on the secondhand market. SE markets this mic as a professional dynamic studio microphone, and in that regard it does not disappoint. It has most of the same features as its main competitor, the Shure SM7B, in that it is a front address cardioid dynamic microphone with a relatively flat frequency response. It is flattering to most voices, has a warm low end, a detailed high end, and a mid-range that offers clarity without sounding nasal. Also similar to the SM7B are the onboard EQ switches, except that the DCM8 offers two options each for the low and high filters for numerous potential voicings before reaching the interface and reducing the need for post-production EQ adjustments. Its polar pattern reduces ambient noise, but is forgiving enough to be easy to use and allow for a decent range of motion. Its built-in three-layer pop filter is effective at reducing plosives, and it even comes with an additional external foam windscreen if needed. The large dynamic capsule is based on technology used in their handheld V-series, so there is a proven track record of quality sound and reliability. On a more subjective note, it is also very competitive with other similarly purposed mics as far as their quality and aesthetic are concerned. The Dynacaster is beautifully and thoughtfully crafted of high quality materials, the matte paint is scratch resistant and the red fabric of the grill offers a nice color pop. The mounting mechanism is easy to use and swivels smoothly with a nice large looking nut. It looks very modern and durable. I am now using the onboard EQ switches in the positions that I think flatter my voice the most. The low end switch is set to the top or increased bass position and the high end switch is set to the middle position for a slight high end boost. The tone and clarity of the mic always remains consistent, but with so many options, I think most people will be able to tailor a sound that fits their needs and tastes. Even so, I think the DCM8 sounds great with both switches in neutral mode. With SE Electronics recently releasing new additions to the Dynacaster family, I could easily see a group podcast filling out their whole show with any of these mics. But having briefly owned the newer DCM3, I prefer the sound of this, the original Dynacaster. It is warm, articulate, versatile, and fun to use. When the dynamic activator is on, those 30 dB are very present, and the mic can surprise with how sensitive it is. Be mindful with your gain and your room tone as you use it. Also, it does have an internal suspension to isolate the capsule, but heavy bumps and clicks will still travel through the mic onto your recording. While it lacks the brand recognition of a Shure or an Electro voice, I'd choose this mic over those venerable names for podcasting, on-camera use, or even broadcast purposes. Neither of those mics offer onboard activators or preamps, something many will especially need with the SM7B. Not only does the SE Dynacaster DCM8 look and sound amazing, it is a huge value for all of the features and quality it offers. Here are a few other dynamic and broadcast style mics for comparison. First is the Fifine K669D, a cardioid dynamic broadcast style microphone. Whatever you want, if you wish for it long with constant yearning and fervent desire, if your wish soars upward on wings so strong that they never grow languid and never tire, why, over the storm clouds and out of the dark, it shall come flying some day to you. Next is the Audio Technica AT2040 podcast microphone, a hypercardioid dynamic microphone. Whatever you want, if you wish for it long with constant yearning and fervent desire, if your wish soars upward on wings so strong that they never grow languid and never tire, why, over the storm clouds and out of the dark, it shall come flying some day to you. Finally is the Lauten Audio LS208. This is a noise-rejecting large diaphragm cardioid condenser, to quote Lauten's marketing language. This is a boutique-quality comparison to check the sound of the Dynacaster. Whatever you want, if you wish for it long, with constant yearning and fervent desire, if your wish soars upward on wings so strong that they never grow languid and never tire, why, over the storm clouds and out of the dark, it shall come flying some day to you. I will include additional audio samples in the details for this video. You can check out my affiliate links to purchase this mic or any of my gear, but I always recommend trying to find pre-owned equipment first.
Check me out with this and all of my other microphones on the Finlose Lives podcast at finloselives.com. I'd love to hear what you thought about the SE Electronics Dynacaster or any of the mics featured in this video, so leave a comment below. If you appreciate this content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Be kind to your voice.